What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to put coilovers on the Mitsubishi Lancer the, This is the brand So I'm gonna finish opening it and I'm gonna show you So first of all, before uh, putting installing this in the car, I'm going to change these bushings, these rubber bushings for polyurethane ones. Here is the brand that I'm going to use, and yes, and then I'm going to put anti seize on the threads because I don't want this to get uh, rusty, to rust, because I don't want the threads to to rust. And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you all that. So to take out this bushing, you can do the bolt method, as you can see right here, with a knot. You tie this, and the bushing will come out. But I'm not going to do it like like this way because I have a chop press, and I'm gonna show you how the press take out this bushing.
So I had a problem, as you can see, this polyurethane uh, bushing is bigger than the original of the coilover. So I cut the, the polyurethane bushing and then I press the bushing in. So I'm gonna show you. So here you can see the coilover and the bushing that I cut, you can see. I think I'm not going to have any problem with this, but I'm gonna tell you by the time you see this video, I already had like two months with the coilovers. So, in the description, I'm going to tell you what's up with this bushing. So, as you can see, I already put the two bushings, the two polyurethane bushings. I don't know if I already said it, but I'm going to change uh, all the bushing of the car for polyurethane so stay tuned for that videos and yes now I'm going to measure with a measuring tape from here to here to see if all of these uh, colliver have the same distance you, that is to see the preload of the spring then I'm going to put anti seize on the threads in all four then I just going to to see if everything is tight in all four bushings sorry in all four coilovers and just then I'm going to put a distance for this and then I'm going to put it all in the car so I just checked that these uh, all of these knots are tight in the in all of four coilover this one this is a 14 uh, millimeter range here all of them are tight and with the 18 millimeter range I check this knot right here the big knot of each one and everything is fine so now these coilovers are uh, 32 uh, or adjustment have a 32 adjustment click and I just check I just put everything in the middle that is 16 is the middle of 32 so yes they are ready i just need to put the antithesis in the thread and that's it so now i'm going to put antithesis in this thread just in this one in this one i'm not going to put anything in either one of these so just yes, and i'm going to measure uh, every one of these ones and i'm going to put all of them in the same height here and then I'm going to put in the car and in the car I'm going to uh, do the measurements again to adjust the height of these ones and just to have the car uh, all the wheels at the same height
So here before installation I'm going to measure from here to here and put the same measurements on every single of these uh, coilovers and then I'm going to put it in the car. So to take out the strut you only need to take out this bracket right here, the bracket that is going to be in here, this one, this bracket, then you only need to take out this bolt and this one and then these three nuts and that's it. As you know I'm using just one hand to film and the other to show you so so I'm just going to show you how I'm gonna take out the strut. So you can see I take out the, the strut sorry with that with those three nuts and these two and now I'm going to show you how to put the collover because there is a specific way to put to put it. So before putting the coilover we need to take out this bracket with a 12mm socket and put it in there. So I just put the coilover here with these three knots. You can see these black, black knots. Here I just do not put anything yet. You can see here is the coilover. And the special way to put it is like this with the camber plate facing out of the car here the wheel because we want camber the angle of the wheel in here if you put it uh, the wrong way this uh, facing that way or that way you are going to get camber uh, sorry caster caster is when the when the wheel is uh, forward or backward like this but we want camber that is like this so as you can see I finish putting this coilover in here and remember that if you are going to change your coilovers or for or strut or OEM strut remember this clip right here for the brake line do not forget that and just now I'm going to put the other side I think I it's not necessary to to show you because it's the same thing as this one so I'm going to put that one and I'm going to show you how to put a OEM strut or a coilover in the back. So now in the rear of the car, here's the strut. Now you need to take out this bolt right here, this one right here, and you need to go to your trunk and take out these two nuts that you see there and the strut will come out. So to take out this bolt, you need to uh, with a okay with a jack you need to press in here, and then you can take out this nut, this bolt and nut, and for this one you need to release the jack, and this one will come out. Now I just need to take out the bolt, the both nuts that are in the trunk. So when you are ready, take out those two nuts. You just need to, to do like this and the strut will come out. So as you can see I have the coilover on. First of all I put it in here but I did not tie this, this knot. I just put the bolt and this one. Then I tied these two to 33, 33 foot pounds and these two are uh, 70 foot pounds. I forgot to put to tell you the front torque, but in the end of the video, I gonna put a uh, two image of the torques of the front and the rear. So, yes, now I'm going to put the, the other one, and that's it. So I already have the coilovers adjusted, you can see there. So I hope you like this video, like, subscribe and see you in the next video.